Um, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Wong Da from the School of Nursing, the University of Hong Kong. It's a pleasure for me to present uh, the work with my colleagues on passive drinking in Hong Kong adolescents. Alcohol, according to WHO, alcohol caused up to 3.3 million deaths worldwide in 2012, and it is harmful use is a major risk factor for both developed and developing countries. Alcohol use can lead to physical and mental uh, consequences in adolescents, and WHO urged for actions against the increasingly popular adolescent drinking. And regarding the alcohol use in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and the duties on wine and beer were abolished in 2008, and drinking is popular nowadays, uh, especially in men. According to the Hong Kong government, 45% uh, men drink, drank in the past 30 days and 27 drank weekly. Consistent with this uh, result, um, over 60% students reported they have uh, drinking parents in a recent survey. And past drinking here refers to harmful consequences resulting from others' alcohol drinking. It can range from minor disturbance such as noise or study study sleeping interrupted to more serious consequences such as uh, physical abuse or involved in car accidents. And passive drinking can also have social consequences such as um, it may give the um, it may give the adolescents feel that uh, they are feeling unsafe and it's so and social cost of alcohol was estimated to be up to three percent of GDP. And Children who, who have um, drinking parents may feel neglected and a lack of supervision. And when they grow up, they, they, they are in higher risk of misuse alcohol and they may have difficulties in relationships. And young people may also face passive drinking from their peers and from passers-by. Regarding this, this situation, um, we think that um, Hong Kong adolescents <coughs> are increasingly exposed to alcohol and they are susceptible to the harms of passive drinking from parents, friends and others. However, previous studies are scarce and especially in adolescents and we found no, uh, no studies was based on Chinese population. <coughs> and in our study, we, we aim to investigate the prevalence of passive drinking in secondary school students and identify the risk factors. This study is a cross-sectional survey. Uh, our target is 23 secondary schools, including 18 local schools. They are randomly selected from uh, each of the 18, uh, 18 districts. And also, we want, uh, we, we'd like to include recruited five international schools representing each of the five areas. A total of 12 classes from uh, each school and um, two classes from uh, secondary one to secondary six will be randomly selected. The questionnaire is anonymous and lasting for 20 to 30 minutes in class. We also provide a survey package for the absentees so that they can finish the questionnaire and mail back to us directly. And the data collection is still in progress. In the questionnaire, we uh, recorded their socio-demographic characteristics. And we also asked their drinking behavior, such as uh, frequency of drinking, binge drinking, and their experience of getting drunk. Um, passive drinking is assessed using 15 items, uh, including various types of situations, such as exposure to wrong or urination, push hit or assaulted, sexual harassment, car accidents. We asked, uh, we asked each of these items, whether each, each of these items had happened in the free time frame we provide ever, past 12 months and past 30 days, and who is the causing person. And the students also rated the overall severity of passive drinking, ranging from none to very serious. This preliminary analysis included about 2,000 students from eight schools. They finished the questionnaire from November the 2015 to March this year. 
The data are weighted by age and sex distribution of all Hong Kong secondary students. And we make comparison between uh, boys and girls and drinkers and non-drinkers. Here are the results. The mean age is 14 years old and more than half were boys and over 40% have ever tried drinking. The prevalence of passive drinking for ever is about 42% and about 38% for past 12 months and about 31% for past 30 days. This figure shows the prevalence of different types of passive drinking in past 12 months. Uh, we found that um, the most common types of passive drinking, such as noise or study sleeping interruptive, is uh, mild. However, some uh, serious um, cases, such as accidents or unwanted sexual intercourse, is also reported by the students. And this figure shows the comparison between boys and girls. Um, we found that uh, girls are more likely to uh, report it uh, consequences on mental well-being, uh, such as feeling neglected or emotionally hurt, while more boys reported sexual harassment than girls. This figure shows comparison between drinkers and non-drinkers. Uh, generally, uh, drinkers, uh, more drinkers report passive, facing passive drinking in the past 12 months, uh, ranging from minor uh, disturbance to serious harm. Among the students with experience of past passive drinking in the past 12 months, um, over, uh, about 7% rated really as moderate or serious. We found that more non-drinkers can consider the passive drinking situation they face is serious. And this figure shows uh, who caused passive drinking. Friends were the most common source, followed by strangers, fathers, neighbors, siblings. And Friends were reported more frequently by girls and by drinkers, and mother was reported more frequently by girls. Our study has some limitations. First is um, cross-sectional uh, design. We didn't capture the prevalence of passive drinking over time, and we can't establish a temporal relationship between the so between passive drinking and the so-called risk factors, and. Secondly, this data were reported by the students only and we did not obtain information from their parents and their teachers. Also, we, uh, we did not ask the students the frequency of passive drinking in each of the time frame. We only asked whether they had ever experienced in that time frame. And we found that a substantial proportion of Hong Kong adolescents have experienced passive drinking and friends were the most common source. And Current drinkers uh, were more likely to be the to suffer from this uh, passive drinking, and girls will have uh, will think those more frequently reported uh, consequences on mental well-being. We think that alcohol control policies are ingrained to protect adolescents from these harms, and we'd like to find students. Uh, participating in the survey and the teachers helping with it. And this project is funded by Health and Medical Research Fund of the Hong Kong government. These are the references. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. Wu. Now is the time for the floor. Yes, please. Uh, I think uh, some of events are very subjective and like emotional. Uh, and also we like to because I think for sensitive person they may easily get hurt or get to be like it. Um, yes, yes, uh, yes, it's, 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 this does a uh, uh, limitation of allowing because um, we aim to capture an overall, overall situation of mm -hmm. and we, we show the, that um, we consider the the information we need about their own, uh, their social demographic, their characteristics, their drinking status, and other data we are we are not that able to extend uh, in depth about their emotional or their psychological measures in a great deal. Let me say about maybe a established scale to measure them because we we have. The, the questionnaire we use now is about 20 to 30 minutes. It's already 
quite long for um, for the secondary student to finish in, in such a long time. We we already get some complaints from the from the teachers say that that this questionnaire is too long. So so we are so we we finally decide to, to just measure using one uh, one question. But we, as you suggested, we may if we if we further investigate the uh, the consequences of mental well we should use some more detailed questions to measure this this uh, item. Yes, please. Uh, do you ask students about uh, where they got that uh, like harmful or harassment, like we, in which place they got the the, the, the kind of uh, um, harmful? We uh, I want to make it You you ask me whether I whether we ask them uh, whether they face this situation. Uh, uh, I say, okay. Okay. Um, we didn't we didn't quite ask. Uh, we did. We we did generally ask whether they face uh, this situation in uh, passive drinking in uh, the following places, but we did not specify to each uh, each separate item like uh, like the part, the student reporting they she, uh, she he or she is disturbed by noise. We didn't ask where where this she get disturbed. And like we also asked about like in, in which. Uh, Specific time because you just in this presentation, yes, the uh, job past 12 months and uh, in uh, 30 days, right? But I mean, do, do you also ask about, uh, I mean, uh, for, for example, maybe in, in your country, uh, drinking alcohol consumption is like higher in uh, New Year or in like um, a particular time? We Actually, actually, according to our, um, um, actually, uh, we didn't we didn't specifically ask the, the exact time they face this situation, but um, but as that yes, you I, I think you're right that maybe in some festivals the the, the drinking the, the people drinking that day is uh, much more than, than uh, other days and they may more likely to face this situation, but. But um, I think for, for our study, because uh, it's um, it may be it may it may not be that relevant because uh, as uh, I mentioned in the in the introduction that over over the sixty percent students have um, have drinking parents have at least one drinking parent, and according to the data from the Hong Kong government, um, over uh, about uh, four. About forty-five percent men uh, trained in the past thirty days, and twenty-seven percent drank really. I think this as uh, an adolescent, her, uh, he or she, her most his or her most time is spent in a, at home or at school. So, given that this high prevalence, it's um, it's already uh, they they it's already. It's already that they, they are e they are easy to build, build encounter this is situation, but as uh, we found that um, uh, friends are the most friends are the most common source. I think that we in future in future study we may we also need to specify like like say frequency supply law like all I should specify in uh, festivals in holidays uh, whether they experience this situation uh, more frequently. Yeah, uh, like, I think like if you give also uh, this kind of information like in which uh, places and in which uh, time, uh, I think it, it can uh, make you have more deep uh, recommendations so the government can, can know uh, that then I mean like if only very general time, I, uh, it's also it's it's quite difficult to control alcohol consumption, but uh, if you also give uh, suggestion to government to make a uh, restriction for alcohol consumption in specific time and places, I think it's more easier for them to accept your recommendation. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> but but the but the question is that. 
since the, the tax of wine and beer was abolished in Hong Kong in 2008, I think, I think it's, it's some kind of it's a, a policy or, or, uh, or uh, some kind of thing to promote tourism in Hong Kong used by the government. Like say, um, in, the, in, in the summer vacation, they have a uh, food and wine festival to attract tourists. I, I, I think it may be a little difficult to ask the government to specifically <laughs> ban using alcohol or restrict using alcohol at the death festivals because it, it may contradict with their purpose now. But, but we aim to um, like to at least pose some uh, uh, restrictions on selling, uh, or selling the alcohol like in retail stores or maybe we establish the, the tax as so to progress to a more, uh, more safe environment against the uh, uh, alcohol or harm. Any more questions? So may I ask one, uh, because you mentioned some boys uh, they get uh, uh, sexual harassment yes. or something. Do you ask the question that uh, form this is the passive drinking, right? Yes. Do, do you ask that, do you know that uh, uh, the drinker are in the family or or classmate or on the street or what? The portion of the situation that is happening. Okay. We we did uh, we didn't analyze that that we did ask um, the, uh, we, the the question is uh, like this we asked them uh, did you experience uh, sexual harassment in uh, like touching or something like or something else in uh, in the ever past twelve months and uh, past thirty days. And following that, uh, we ask we list a, a list of uh, causing person and ask the student to to figure uh, to, to 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 tell us uh, which causing but we did the, do the analysis in this in this paper, but we did ask. It. Before we move to the last. <laughs> Thank you.